I'd like to invite Kia's global chair, Phil Veal, and global CEO, Craig Donison, to the stage. They're gonna to talk to us more about Kia, more about tonight's awards, and those who have made it possible. So big round of applause for them, please. What a night, thank you, Petra. I'm Phil. And I'm Craig. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Ko hui mai nei i runga i te whakawhanongatanga. He tēnō mihi ki a koroa, Renata, rawa kou precious. O tērā ki a koutou katoa o Ngāti Whātua. Te hau kainga. Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Bill English. Dr Mary English is in the house. Welcome, Dr English. Minister of Transport, the Honourable Simon Bridges and Natalie, welcome. World-class New Zealanders and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a celebration of global achievements by New Zealanders. We really are honoured to have such a large group of diverse, passionate and proud Kiwis in this room tonight. Our world has changed. Global political upheaval, technological disruption, even new alternative facts have created a new world, a relationship-driven world. As the world becomes more volatile, more disruptive and increasingly difficult to do business, there's one thing that's, that's new. Deep, authentic relationships are now more important than ever have been before. Authentic is right. And Kia is the platform that enables those authentic relationships and allows today's and tomorrow's talented leaders, wherever they are in the world, to impact New Zealand for the greater economic good. Now, Kia is based on the idea that wherever in the world you're doing business, there's somebody there that grew up here. The more than half a million members of Kia's global network can help you make trusted connections, get great advice, access important markets, and find amazing talent, many of whom, Craig, as we've discovered, are looking to return home. They are, they're starting to return home, that's good, right? So we thought Phil and I would share just a couple of examples of uh, really um, successful Kiwis that we've met in the last few weeks uh, and tell you their stories and how, we, uh, how they can help you. Shane Grant, CEO of Coca-Cola Canada, who runs thousands of employees, billions of dollars of turnover. There's not much in the food and beverage space that this guy doesn't know. I sat down with him last week and he's like Craig. How can I help New Zealand firms? If you're in the food and beverage space, you need to know and have this amazing Kiwi as your friend. That's Shane. This is Brent Ayri, uh, leads Facebook Live. Now, having earlier transformed Netflix from the old DVD business into a modern video streaming company and spearheaded GoPro's early success, he now sits at the, desk, at the desk next to Mark Zuckerberg, where we found him a couple of weeks ago. So if you're in the digital video business, you need this Kiwi to be your friend. I'm just pleased I don't have to sit next to Zuck every day. That wouldn't be fun. Our next Kiwi, Victoria Ransom, who we celebrated a few years ago, works for Google in the Valley. She grew up in a small farming town, but had a big idea. How to take a tech business to the world. She sold it to Google for an amount that only she could dream of. She was named by Fortune magazine as one of the most powerful women entrepreneurs. If you're in the technology business, you need to have this amazing Kiwi as your friend. That's Victoria from the well-known technological hub of Bulls. <laughs> uh, this is Delwyn Moller. Uh, she's a rocket scientist at NASA a remarkable woman and a great resource for all New Zealanders as we follow Rocket Lab's early success. Now, if you're in the business of space, you need this amazing Kiwi to be your friend. 
And I talked to her husband last week in Los Angeles, and I said, what do you do? He said, I've been at NASA for 20 years working on the Mars space program. So, you know, this is the quality of these people. So really just a few examples of some amazing Kiwis really operating at the absolute high end of their industries. Just the same as our sailors in Bermuda, right? Doing, doing New Zealand proud. Go Team New Zealand. The cool thing is that of most of the world's top companies have a Kiwi or a friend of New Zealand in their senior roles. That means that there's someone with a warm connection operating inside those, inside those firms that you can leverage off. And that is what Kia is here to do to help assist you. Yeah, and the common thread through all of this is clear, as we heard the Fakatoki earlier. He aha te mea nui o te ao. He tangata, he tangata, he tangata. And what is the most important thing? It is the people. It is the people. people. It is the people. It's the people. So Kia's connection service is the answer to the challenge of nasty cold calls. We really believe that no New Zealander doing business offshore in this world should ever make a cold call. So we hope that you're blown away tonight with our award winners and their amazing life stories as we, show, as we showcase their lives together. Brr, cold calls, huh? We, we want to thank everyone here tonight for celebrating ambition and more importantly, what happens when we put that ambition to work. Thank you, as, as Petra said, to Kia's global partners for supporting and enabling the important work that Kia does. And thank you to our panel of awards judges for their commitment to showcasing our global talent. And thanks to all of you for joining in this celebration. So we hope you leave tonight feeling inspired, having made your own connections, and being able to help not only you, but our great country achieve its unlimited potential. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rā tātou katoa. <laughs>